Hello, welcome back to Bricks and Black, and today we're talking about Lego UCS Star Wars set 75367 Final Craft Republic Act Cruiser. They come with 5,374 pieces, and if we came out on October 1st for non VIP members, and if you are VIP members, you'll be able to pick this up on October 1st for $649 USD. In my opinion, that is an outrageous price. In my opinion, you'll see later why I think that. They come with two minifigures, which let's take a look at those right now. The two figures, the Indecise Admiral Lauren, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and Captain Rex. Admiral Lauren, in my opinion, is very detailed. He comes with everything I think he sure came with. In my opinion, it's just a good figure. Now we gotta talk about Captain Rex. In my opinion, this is the reason why I think this is an absolute ripper. Lego did not put any attention to detail on him. There's no waist cape, unfortunately, there's a helmet hole, which is terrible. And that's pretty much everything about him terrible. Not a lot of good things about him inside the side cape piece. I'm sorry, I did not know any of that. But the real thing is, in the Marvel set, Wanda from WandaVision came, came with a way cape. Why can't Captain Rock come with it? And let me remind you, they said that um, WandaVision came in a Wanda, whatever one you want to call it, came in a $100 set. This is nearly a $700 set. Why did this not come with a way cape? It's the mystery that no one can understand that Lego and the person who ever decided this decision. In my opinion, that just terrible sin. They should fix this before they release it. Cause that, in my opinion, what makes it a very terrible value is the Captain Rock figure. Which is not like a figure like that no way you've been buying. We've been buying this figure we made since like when they made the first figure. It's just one of those figures that we real wanted to remake of. And they are still terribly, which is, in my opinion, the perfect, t typical Lego. But either way, they're terrible, in my opinion. So, for the video, it's the same length, but about with the Star Destroyer, but its height is different to the Star Destroyer. And one confusing thing, in my opinion, is both of the stands should be connected if we want to, like, put it next to the Star Destroyer, but unfortunately, it isn't connected for some reason. It isn't like a complaint of mine, but I wish it was connected because that would have looked a little bit better, in my opinion. And you had 20 year anniversary Clone Wars brigade print, and you also had a display plaque that is also printed with. Very excited and glad to see some printed bricks in the set. That probably, I imagine, one of the only printed bricks in the set. Now we're going to talk about the actual vendor, and I love that dark red that makes it just pop wonderfully. It really is one of my favorite parts about this set. One weird thing about this is that it's pretty similar to the Star Destroyer, not like Lego J1, because it does look a lot like the Star Destroyer. I'm just wondering why they made UCS set that looks so identical to another one there. Put it out, it would be even more weirder if the other one wasn't retired, but in some Lego stores I met still have that one, so yeah, it's going to be pretty weird seeing them side by side, because they're going to be pretty identical, but they do probably are going to look pretty nice next to each other. But there are some differences, like how the vendor is more tiled off than the Star Destroyer, because the original UCS Star Destroyer from um, 2019, I think, was, like, completely stuck. Like, there was no tile on it. So I'm very happy to see a different more tile off than the Star Destroyer, because they could have very easily made this all of a sudden, and that would look really bad, in my opinion. There was, unfortunately, no interior whatsoever. And that's another one of my least favorite parts about it, because there's really no interior. At least they could have done something. But I don't know why they couldn't up because really it's a pretty simple thing to do. I meant most of that in interior area inside that bedroom was pretty much empty. So I don't know why they couldn't like maybe put the Easter egg to the interior or maybe a micro scale interior. I mean I just wish they had an interior be that make it more better for the 
amount of money that this is, and also it'd be a lot cooler if it had made like a micro scale interior. Or even just a little Easter egg tree interior would be nice. So my overall thoughts on this is you got that I'm not going to be buying it. There's just too many things wrong about it for me to really justify it. And $650 is a lot to spend on a Lego set just at that price. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.